So, after referring to a uh, T40, no, T4-40E uh, video on YouTube there, I don't remember the guy's name, Hiram or something, um, apparently you have to pull this, uh, I guess it's a seal for the uh, driver's side axle, gotta pull it off of there, and uh, this one here, I had two, uh, two foot long pry bars on it, and it didn't want to come off, so I ended up uh, heating it up with the brazing torch. And uh, then it decided it could pry off. I tried to hang up on the snap ring, but eventually it did come off. So, so now I guess it's... Uh, and I also had to take the O-ring off the far side of this shaft here. Because it was hanging up, just like he said on the video. And lo and behold, we can now get our chain out so there he is we'll uh, set him aside see we got a some type of a uh, roller bearing there so according to the video I'm uh, ready to start uh, pulling uh, oh yes, this guy here comes off too but I'm gonna try to leave that on I guess I can start pulling things apart here gonna have a pretty good collection of parts by the time I'm done from looks of the video is a T4 40 E trannies if I'm saying that right are not the simplest thing in the West looks like maybe this clutch pack wants to come out uh, might be a two-hand job I'll shut the camera down but anyway I'll pull her out here uh, that video was very good uh, the, the only problem with it was that it, it stopped before he, he didn't remove this axle shaft and uh, that's what I need to see on the far end is what uh, kind of bearing it's got on it or whatever that's worn out there so looks like this guy was built uh, March 31st 2004 the built date there I guess these transmissions were actually made in Canada so it says but uh, nice to know we can actually uh, still manufacture a thing or two in this country I don't know how much longer that'll go on for I hear GM's pulling out of Oshawa I could be wrong about that but that's the word anyways apparently electricity in Ontario is too expensive for them gee I, I can't understand that it's only like the most expensive electricity in North America anyway I'll get back off that subject and get back on transmissions here okay so we got the first set of clutches out of it there front piece and uh, looks like this, uh, this band here is ready to come out depending on the light there doesn't look too bad of shape I guess not like it's burnt to a crisp or anything well, continuing on here the next big lump out there and, uh, Gotta watch these transmissions here. Uh, a little bit hungry there, so now I got a deer tooth spline shaped cut in my hand there. About uh, six of them. It caught me between the end of this and uh, the other spline there. I guess there's like a dip in it. And it wasn't coming, and then all of a sudden she she decided to move. And it, it bit me. Well. Next set of gears decided to come out, but you got to turn it uh, counterclockwise there and wiggle it around a bit. It uh, worked its way out there. You know, got to watch these sharp surfaces there and, uh, and these uh, things there. The train, he's got a lot of a lot of sharp surfaces in them there. I like the bite, that uh, hand there's kind of stinging from that spline bite there. So I got the next band out here. I gotta make sure she she goes back in the right way there. That uh, little boss there has to go at the bottom. Fits up in there. And uh, now you got that little finger sticking out there on the right hand side. That's part of what holds it. Like I say, I don't know if I'll be putting this thing back together or not, but I'm just trying to document it here in case I decide to. I'll have to put it back together to a certain extent, otherwise I'll have boxes and boxes of parts. I 
Well, there's that big, mean, nasty snap ring I had to get out there. It uh, put up a real pain. I had to use uh, needle nose vice grips and uh, regular long nose vice grips, a little screwdriver, big screwdriver. But anyway, then I had to grab the axle and use it for a friggin' uh, slide hammer. But I got her out. I'm sure it's not going to be made of helium. Oh, also, we got the uh, this brag clutch there. Took it out. I got the front of the unit there. Anyway, I'll slide this over here. Get these two over here. Let's see, see what we can see here. Okay. So that's the differential there. I think that's a speed sensor on the end. And that's probably the spline. What we got left in there? Oh, nothing. Some type of washer. So. Very interesting. So I wonder what's worn out in my tranny then. This looks like this is going to slide right out of there, but I'll just leave it with more parts to mess around with. So I'm going to grab it. Things not made of helium, I'll tell you that. Big solid lump of steel. So I'm not too impressed with that. I guess it must be whatever bearing or bushing is on the outside of that. There's more. That, uh, yeah, there's a bushing in the transmission. Nice. Go around the other end here and see if we can see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. A little thing about three eighths of an inch wide. That's all that holds your axle. If I can get it there, there it is. So the GM. Uh, Mechanic might have told me right that uh, it might be removable from the outside, but I'd like to see the special tool you'd need to do it. Like unobtainium. That's a, like a brass bushing there. Thin wall, I'd say not much over a sixteenth inch. About inch and a half wide. Well, that solves that mystery. And uh, so this surface here on the end is what uh, guides your uh, axle. And the spline's inside of it there. So that bushing there is all that uh, guides the axle. So I can see wear on the outside of it there. Not not excessive, but it's like I say, it's only about three eighths of an inch wide. You almost think you need a little bit more than that to hold an axle, wouldn't you? Maybe that's why it wears out. Anyway, that's the that's the unit there. Pretty well gutted it. There, we still got a. What's that? I guess that's a ring gear up in there. Looks like the there's like a washer or something lying down up in there too. So now I got a whole bunch of pieces to put back together here, so that my my trailer isn't uh, full of uh, transmission parts. Wouldn't want it to like start raining or something right now, would we? Anyway. I'm not thinking I'm going to be putting that uh, snap ring back in right now. Uh, it's not like I'm going to be using this transmission anyway. So, drive chain there and valve body pieces. And lots of fun. I guess I could have left the two of them together, but uh, I should have watched uh, what's his name's video there on YouTube about the was it 40 40E uh, transmission? It's a Cavalier, Saturn, L series, whatever. Lots of Lots of GM cars from the 2000 era. Well, glad I got that out and solved that mystery, but it remains to be seen if it can be repaired without uh, tearing the tranny out of the car and gutting it like this. Just trying to get a little better lighting on this bushing here. Perhaps you can see a little better now. So it's only about three eighths of an inch long, about an inch and a half diameter, and I wouldn't give her much more than a sixteenth inch thick. Just a brass or bronze bushing. And that's what uh, guides your passenger side axle. Personally, I, uh, I think a little more length would have been uh, beneficial. So, there's the bearing on the passenger side. You can see it there. You see it's only about three eighths of an inch wide. 
bushing. Call it a bushing, I guess. But, so that's the culprit. And there's the part that rides on it. This this surface here. And you've also got this uh, this uh, roller thrust bearing on there. And that's the, the differential. I guess it's the speed sensor ring. So <coughs> basically this old bearing surface here rides in that little tiny bushing and that's all that guides your passenger side axle and on uh, this bearing surface here and this is for the seal so in my humble opinion that bearing is not it's not long enough in this direction so consequently that's why it decides to wear out and get loose. I'm going to measure it and the shaft to see just how loose it is. But uh, it's loose enough that it causes problems. So, so a person to replace it would have to basically gut the transmission as far as I can tell. If you had some type of hook thing, but you can't you can't get in to hook it because this thing's in the way But I guess in all fairness it did last pushing 200,000 miles Not in all cases though 